नमस्कार दोस्तों स्वागत है आप सभी को हमारे YouTube चैनल पे आज हम डिस्कस करने जा रहे हैं इकोनॉमी इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ मेमल्स टॉपिक पे अगर हम ह्यूमंस के पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से देखें तो मेमल्स बहुत ही इम्पोर्टेंट है वो हम आज डिस्कस करने जा रहे हैं सोलिस स्टार्ट आवर वीडियो द मेमल्स आर मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट ग्रुप ऑफ एनिमल फ्रॉम ह्यूमन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ह्यूमन के नज़रिए से मेमल्स बहुत ही इम्पोर्टेंट है दे आर इकोनॉमिकली इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर मेनी रीजन्स इज दे हैव सॉफ्ट और हम मैन फॉर फ्रॉम द अर्लीस्ट टाइम दे आर इकोनॉमिकली इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर द मैन दे हैव सॉफ्ट और दे मे हैव ऑल्सो हार्म ह्यूमन फ्रॉम वेरी लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम और वेरी अर्लीस्ट पीरियड ऑफ टाइम इट फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन द बेनिफिशियल मैमल्स बेनिफिशियल मैमल्स में नंबर वन पॉइंट पे आते हैं डोमेस्टिकेटेड मैमल्स हम मैमल्स को डोमेस्टिकेट करके उन्हें यूज करते हैं वही उसी के बारे में डिस्कस करेंगे सिंस द बिगिनिंग ऑफ सिविलाइजेशन मैन हैज बीन डोमेस्टिकेटिंग वेरियस मैमल्स फॉर वर्क फूड एंड एंड क्लोथिंग विदाउट मैमल्स पर्टिकुलरली द डोमेस्टिक स्पीसीज मैन वुड नॉट बी एबल टू सर्वाइव इट मीन्स दैट वी हैव बीन डोमेस्टिकेटिंग मैमल्स फॉर वेरियस वर्कस फूड परपोजेज एंड क्लोथिंग परपोजेज सॉच इज सीप्स सीप्स वी आर डोमेस्टिकेटिंग मैमल्स विदाउट दोम ह्यूमन्स डज नॉट हैव बीन एबल टू सर्वाइव टिल नाउ वाइल ऑल प्रोवाइड मीट एंड हाइट्स सोम प्रोवाइड मिल्क वूल एंड हेयर ओदर सॉप फॉर ट्रांसपोर्ट ड्राफ्ट और हॉन्टिंग मैमल सोम प्रोवाइड मिल एंड हाइट्स मीट एंड हाइट्स एंड सोम प्रोवाइड मिल्क ऑल्सो वूल ऑल्सो हेयर ऑल्सो एंड ओदर सॉर्फ फॉर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन यातायात के लिए वो हमें सहयोग करते हैं हंटिंग में भी सहयोग करते हैं जॉस एज डॉग इट इज सी एंड देन सेकेंड में डिस्कस करें तो मैमस ऑल्सो हेल्प अस एज एज फूड मैमस हैव बीन सर्विंग एज फूड फॉर मैन सिंस वेरी एंसेंट टाइम we eat mammals for the food or the product of mammals are also used by used as food by the human beings at first is meat the domesticated mammals provide enormous quantities of various kind of meat and meat products mammals provide meat and meat product for the human beings large even toed on gullets such as cattle buffaloes pigs goats sheep reindeer are the biggest supply of meat in the world we eat these pigs goats sheep reindeer in large supply in the world and again big game mammals such as deer big game mammals like deer provide the necessary protein for many people deer provide necessary protein for people for their growth and their good health rabbits seals whales and even rats dogs and bear are also used as food in many part of the world jage jage par rabbits seals even rats or dogs ko bhi human log consume karte hai as a food and then second pe is food ke second pe aate hai milk काउ बोफेलो गॉड सीप लामास कैमल्स रेंडियर्स आर दोज एनिमल्स हुईज प्रोवाइड ऑस मिल्क हुईज फॉर्म एन इम्पोर्टेंट आर्टिकल ऑफ वुमेन फूड वी ईट वी ड्रिंक और वी कंज्यूम मिल्क सो दिस एनिमल्स प्रोवाइड ऑस मिल्क एंड इट इज ऑल्सो अ ग्रेट फूड फॉर ह्यूमन बींग्स घी बॉटर चीज एंड कॉड आर प्रिफेड फ्रॉम द मिल्क एंड ओदर मिल्क प्रोडक्ट सॉच एज घी बॉटर चीज आर चीज आर फॉर्म फ्रॉम द मिल्क एंड वी कैन गेट मिल्क फ्रॉम द मैमल्स टू एंड देन थर्ड टॉपिक इज कमर्शियल प्रोडक्ट मैमल्स फॉर्निस काउंटलेस आइटम ऑफ कमर्शियल वैल्यूज मैमल्स प्रोवाइड अस काउंटलेस आइटम फॉर द कमर्शियल वैल्यूज ऑल्सो it first they provide us hides the hides are various domesticated as well as wild mammals provide leather and fur for the manufacture of clothing and for variety of other purposes various substances like leather and fur are 
use for clothing and other variety of purpose is gained from the mammal also animal pelts have been used as clothing for many centuries animal skin is used for clothing for many centuries centuries in the earliest period of time eskimos is the arctic use reindeer and bear skin for clothing sea hides for footwear and skin of the other species as bird eskimos are the human or earliest human beings who use reindeer and bear skin for clothing in the arctic region and the for footwear they use sea hides and for the skin of the birds they use many other species also and next is for commercial purpose hair and wool is also gained from the mammals the wool of sheep is the most important animal fiber as we all know that wool of the sheep is important animal fiber extensively used for weaving into cloth for winter goats alpaca camels it is also held wool hair of camels pigs horses sables and a host of other are made into brushes it is lanolin or fat obtained from wool is a mixture of palmitate olitate and serrate of cholesterol and then third path oil and fat is also extracted from the mammals blubber of baleen whale and seal provides edible fat or oil from the baleen whale and seal we can get fat or oil which is edible for human beings eskimos use seal blubber as fuel oil oil of sperm sperm whale is not edible oil of whale sperm is not edible but it can be used as a base for cosmetic and in the manufacture of candle and lubricants pig provide cooking fat many type of oils are extracted from the mammals some are used for the edible some are edible and some are not edible but used for base of many other things such as chemic cosmetics chemicals and other lubricants and it is also gained from the mammals the next topic is beast of burden various mammals have been domesticated by man to serve as beast of burden from transportation and craft of heavy loads it means that human beings have been using mammals as the beast of burden for many things such as transportation and the draft of heavy loads they have been greatly replaced by automotive vehicles in the more progressive countries in the more progressive countries nowadays we have been using automotive vehicles but in the underdeveloped countries cattle horses mules sheep and goats are still being used for work in plains and mountain as we all know in the underdeveloping country we use cattle horses mules in the plains and mountain elephant in the jungle camel and llamas in desert and many other animal in other fields also and the number 5 is in agriculture the use of mammals buffaloes ag horses and camels are employed for plowing fit fields plowing fields sorry they supply manure in the form of dung and urine which nitrifies soil and yields fuels biogas we all know that the dung and urine of the mammals are used in the field is the is the fertilizers and it also nitrifies the soil and make the biogas bone meal prepared by crushing bone of cattle sheep etc is a good fertilizer also so some carnivorous predators such as mongoose prey upon rats and mice which are serious pests of crops it means that some predators like mongoose prey on the rats and mice which destroy the which destroy the agriculture and mongoose and other predators helps to control rats and mice in the agriculture and number 6 is is pollinator arboreal mammals which visit one tree after another in search of fruit such as bats squirrel monkey etc may 
incidentally help in the pollination of flower in East Indies. Bats are said to pollinate bananas. It means that mammals are also helps in the pollinator. Mostly arboreal mammals helps in the pollination process because they visit from one tree to another and carry pollen during their visiting and incidentally help accidentally help in the pollination. There are other so many benefits of mammals we have yet to describe but now we are going for the harmful mammals. Some mammals are directly injurious to man. We all know that every good thing have bad aspect to them also. And the number one harmful mammal are pests, rodents. Rodents are like bats and uh, rodent are rats and uh, mice and other small, small mammals which destroy the crops and they are also act as pests to the crop. They destroy crop in field, commit ravages about houses and buildings, destroy houses and buildings, consumes all kind of food stuff and destroy property etc. Mammals destroy property, houses, food stuffs etc. And number second is predator. Wild carnivores are predator and constant menace to the life of people and livestock. Wild carnivores like lion tiger are predator to the human beings and they kill people and destroy their life stock and then number three is they are mostly disease carrier rodents rodents are like rats mice are the host carrier and distributor of the germ of certain disease important disease transmitted to humans are bubonic plague typhus relapsing fever spotted fever tularemia etc these are spreaded by rats mice pigs cats dog etc and they can destroy the life of human beings or as well as the wealth of human beings for treating them so dosto itna hi tha hamara economic importance of mammals pe i hope you all liked our video and please subscribe and help us for further videos update.